Colorado ranks higher than most states in an unusual category, insurance claims for dog bites. And Denver is the eighth worst city in the country when it comes to dogs attacking postal workers. So we wondered, how do you know if your policy covers you if your animal bites someone? For On Your Side's Jody Brooks shows you what to look for. By just looking at six and a half year old Eris Burt, you'd never know how much she has healed in the last two months. I only cried for five minutes. Five minutes of terror when a corgi dog similar to this one bit her in the mouth. This picture was taken shortly after the attack. The dog ripped her pretty good, so she had this cut right here, but the doctor lined up both lip lines and then did the stitches on top and bottom so it would grow and still be a beautiful line. The dog belonged to a family friend and it was a dog Eris Burt knew well. I was playing with him and then he didn't want me to play with him anymore so he bit me. He was having a bad day? Yeah. Turns out dog bites are covered by your standard homeowners or renters insurance policy. Last year, according to the Insurance Information Institute, there were nearly $490 million in dog bite claims. The average cost per claim almost $30,000. Colorado ranks 19th in the country for its number of dog bite claims. That liability coverage can help pay for the damages or injuries related to that person's dog bite or attack. Does that dog bite have to happen on your property? No. Uh, this can happen anywhere. One out of five dog bites requires medical attention. Homeowners and renters insurance policies normally provide at least $100,000 in benefits for dog bite victims. Higher limits are available at an additional cost. A possible settlement is being talked about, but I don't know anything further yet. Eris Bird is doing quite well considering it's only been eight weeks since her attack, but you can still see where her stitches were. I'm sure this little scar on top of her lip will stay, but it, it could have been worse. We're glad it's just, it's just this. Although Eris Burt does seem to be the same around her own dogs, her mom says she's still teaching her children how to be around dogs, all dogs. You just never know. More than half of all dog bite victims are children. Jody Brooks reporting for us tonight. If you have a story you want Jody or any of our team to look into, just call the tip line 303-863-TIPS or drop us an email at cbsdenver.com.